Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. <laughs> Can you see him? Can you see him? Uh, this is Pixie and Wicket. <laughs> the day we brought him home, uh, and this is our old apartment down in L.A., and, uh, oh, they're just so adorable. I could literally hold both of them in one hand, on one arm. Uh, Ponzi was saying that when she was watching this, she could tell their personalities had already been defined. Uh, the curious one and the cautious one. And, uh, it's just, this is the day we brought them home. And I knew this one was full of piss and vinegar, and this one was going to be a love bug, and that, that's kind of true. Uh, I'm, I was playing it in, uh, Windows Movie Maker here, and the reason why is because we had a, uh, person, uh, by the handle X-Razor, or Zrazer. I don't know how to pronounce these things. Guys, is there any way to convert the WMM files to AVI so I can upload to YouTube? Well, the only WMM that I know of would be Windows Movie Maker, WMM. And uh, it is easy to export the videos from Windows Movie Maker, specifically ready for YouTube, even though there's not a, a, as simple a way to do it in Windows Movie Maker as, say, there is inside of uh, iMovie 08, which is uh, another subject for debate. Some people don't even like that. Uh, what you do, once you've built the video, simply by either importing the video into the top pane, dragging it into the timeline down below, instead of going to File, Save Project As, by default, it's going to save it as a project file. And that's different from a movie file in the sense that a project file allows you to um, you know, mix and match titles and graphics and, and images and videos all together. It's not the actual movie. The movie only gets compiled when you export or you, you save as. When you save the project file, that allows you to go back in, change one thing before exporting it as a movie, uh, and, and it's a nice way to kind of pick up where you've left off at a certain point in the future or you know, uh, not have to re-edit the video after after it's been exported. The project compiles everything together to export. Uh, and that's all the project file is, and so it's going to be substantially smaller. So make sure if you're going to upload anything to YouTube, you've made sure that you don't you, you can't uh, pass along a movie maker project. It just can't be done. When you're ready to push a video to YouTube, you take this project that you've built that you've put together here, and you press the publish movie button and once that's been done it's gonna say where do you want to publish your movie well you know it would be nice to have a little YouTube link in here unfortunately it doesn't exist uh, my recommendation is that you push it to the, uh, the this computer which is typically the first option go to the next screen you can name it put it wherever you want it's inconsequential at this point then it'll ask you the setting which to, to, to determines the quality and file size of the movie. At this point, uh, you can choose the best quality for playback on my computer, which is recommended. Uh, that's probably what I would recommend as well. Uh, of course, you can get down even further. If it's a large movie or a large project, make sure you compress it to uh, less than 100 megabytes, because I believe that's the, the limit uh, pretty much for anybody on YouTube, even, even myself. Um, so, after you've saved this as a WMV or Windows uh, video or Windows media video file, uh, then you can upload that WMV file directly to YouTube. So don't try to upload the project file, which is nothing more than pointers to everything that you've mixed and matched. Uh, instead, make sure you publish the movie, save it out as a WMV file. Uh, Windows, that's the only file that you can save it out as. And then that WMV file, that Windows movie, that Windows media video file is going to be uh, able to be passed directly along to YouTube so long as it's less than 100 megabytes. Uh, so anyway, that's that's how you do it. And of course, you know, uploading to YouTube is a, a different procedure altogether. But the question was pretty much in general how to do it. Uh, you don't need to convert to AVI. Uh, in fact, uh, if I were you, uh, and this is not capable or uh, possible in Windows Movie Maker at this point, uh, I would start uploading your videos in the MP4 video format onto YouTube, largely because of devices like the iPhone. Um, if I browse the YouTube button here on the iPhone, if the video is uploaded in MP4 format, 
uh, I can view it directly on the iPhone because it supports MP4. Uh, any other video format has been questionable. Uh, it's sometimes a hit or miss, uh, at, at least as far as uh, viewing the video on an iPhone is concerned. Plus, uh, the Flash player is uh, going to be supporting the MP4 video real soon. That's in beta right now. Uh, they just uh, talked about that the other day. I believe that will be finalized in the next month or two. Uh, and So MP4 is pretty much going to be the video format du jour. Uh, AVI, sure, it's going to be around for the long haul, uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, encoding uh, MP4 files, at least as far as Windows Movie Maker is concerned, is, is a bit of a trick. I don't, I don't even think it's remotely possible at this point, largely because, well, Microsoft has a vested interest in uh, letting you produce uh, video files that are formatted in uh, their format, which would be Windows Media. Uh, we'll get into video conversions, I'm sure, at a future date, so hang in there. And if we haven't already done so, uh, I think we did. I think we talked about a, a few different video conversion tools in the past. Always looking for good video tips, video conversion tips, media conversion tips, media formatting tips. Uh, any other kind of tip that you might have, huh? pass it along. Just leave a comment, remark, follow-up, link if you can. Of course, if you want, swing by the chat room. We're there day or night uh, swapping video links. Some people keep sending me the same video link over and over again. I'm not going to look at it. Uh, I mean, sometimes I will, but I'll usually wait for someone else to look at it. Just make sure it's okay for me to pull up on the big screen because, of course, as soon as I play it here, everybody out there sees it because we do this live every day. I mean, it's 1.13 in the morning right now, and I'm recording videos to a live studio audience of at least 122 people. Kind of scary. It makes me happy, though. I mean, that I'm not alone in staying up on a Friday night uh, talking about geeky things. What about you? What are you doing? If you're not doing anything, eh, swing by the chat room. You know where to find us? Right? You, you, you got it? It's right, ne right, right underneath the uh, sponsor logos there. Oh, there they go. They're, they're telling you now. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.